الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا قيبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. First of all, I thank God Almighty for all the favors and bounties that God Almighty has bestowed upon us, and I send praise and thanks to God. For all the food, the job, the good things in life that God has given to us, I ask God Almighty to shower His peace and blessings upon all the messengers that God has sent to the world. My brothers and sisters, I greet you with Assalamu alaikum. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon you. Shalom. I want to thank. Uh, the Lake Worth Interfaith Network for giving me this opportunity to share this happy, blessed, thanksgiving greetings with each and every one of you. It is indeed a pleasure to join and participate with you. A special thanks to Mr. Ted for inviting me to join with you on this program. After that, I want to share with myself and you and all the viewers worldwide when it comes to thanksgiving, it is important and most important that we understand the reality of thanksgiving. If we look at the lifestyle that has been designed by the messengers of God, we will see that we have always been taught to praise God for the food that we eat. We praise God after we rise from sleep, we praise God for a promotion in our job. We praise God for everything. We praise God. If we look at the scriptures, it's all about praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So as we join together on this happy Thanksgiving moment, I want to remind myself and you once more that we should not only praise God when it's Thanksgiving, formally in November yearly. We should remember to praise God all the time, every day, every moment of our lives. Every moment, every opportunity we get, we go to work, we go to school, we go on our missions. We never can tell what can happen to us on the road. There are so many accidents. There are so many disasters. There are so many calamities nowadays in the world. When we return home, we should praise the Lord that we have gone and we returned home safely by the mercy of God. That's a form of thanksgiving. We do not only thank God for the food that we eat, but we thank God for every opportunity that he has blessed us with in life. As I said, the road has so many accidents. Sometimes in our jobs, in our career, there are so many problems we see, disasters, calamities happening in the world with people, with friends, with relatives, with near and dear ones. So whatever bounties God has blessed us with, and we are okay, and we don't have those disasters and calamities in our lives, we should always remember to praise God. By praising God, my brothers and sisters, by praising God, we are saved from disasters and calamities. By praising God, by thanksgiving, by thanking God for every breath that we breathe, every breath that we breathe, we should thank God. A wise man once said, very interesting a wise man once said that whenever you remember to praise God whenever you remember to thank God you should do another thanks and he was asked why what's the reason that you say praise the Lord and then you say another praise the Lord and the answer was just to remember to praise the Lord 
we should praise the Lord for reminding us to praise the Lord. Very interesting. Very interesting. And my friends, my brothers and sisters, and all those who are viewing this worldwide, let us always remember to praise the Lord. The food that we eat, when we get up from sleep, the day that we have lived, and every day that we have lived, we praise the Lord that things could have been worse, and God made things easy for us and make things good for us. So thank you very much. And it's a pleasure again to be on this program. Thank you very much, Ted, and all our other participants who are on this program. Thank